Hey guys, uh, FX Woody, the crazy Frenchie over here. Uh, just wanted to show you some little kind of cool feature that's been going on. I've been working on the the cutter over here because uh, the system that I had before was working okay, but I had a problem with the, the cutting when it went over there. It was skipping a, a, a tooth because it was pushing, it was not pushing properly. So I've redesigned this, put a, a different brace for when the harm goes over here that I can actually show you how it works. If we go over here, I'm just gonna do a little buck smooth to cutter. And there you go. So that's what it did. It just goes on the goes on there. And it gives it like a wank and then after that slowly it goes back and it cuts the filament. So up to now this is working pretty nice. Uh, I've been obviously trying the box, stupid boxes over here. And uh, since because my problem is that my extruder my cutter is under the extruder, so Chitty, our cutter is on top of the extruder and therefore we are scrapping a lot of material in the between when we're retracting and then when it's purging. So by putting my cutter underneath, I'm purging a lot less and I'm cutting. Uh, the, the sequence is not finished, but the, the cutting system is kind of good, so it's working fine for now. I'm going to have to retune a few things. I switched the uh, the hot end. I'm working with the conch uh, to make a special a special support because the heat sink on the conch is not working properly. It's not setting properly, so that has to be done. And uh, so I've got a few more little design to do. This part over here, I got a flap that's gonna hold this down with a good pressure. I've uh, modified this one, so I'm always, you know, it's sitting nicely. Simple, you know, what I did is I put a tie wrap in there. I wrapped it and put some pressure on it so it's always sticking to the wall so it's perfect and uh, yeah now I'm gonna work my way up with the that stupid box uh, I made a little mud over here for the uh, the PTFE because uh, my PTFE since I'm not using anything anymore you know I don't have the, the cable chain where it used to be so the PTFE was really loose so I made myself a little arm that follows the PTFE from any movement and it's just to keep it up there so it clears the glass and it keeps it in place and that's it so the rest of the, rest of the travel is all natural kind of so less friction and then works like a charm for now and uh, yeah I'm gonna work on this over here I'm gonna the, the modifying I'm modifying the riser my riser and I'm gonna add the support for the box that's gonna be inside on, in the riser itself. So I gotta adjust everything because when I put my huge pool over here for my three kilogram, uh, I don't have much clearance. So I, I gotta play with the design a little bit. But something I'm gonna tweak and then uh, over here, yeah, I got the input from the box and the Y connector that, you know, it's quite useful when you wanna do some uh, special print or quick smoke quick swap I would say and uh, that's it uh, the machine works pretty freaking nice uh, movemently speaking uh, wow this is crazy because what I like the most is the bed that is super smooth and if you look at the ball catch uh, the ball screw they don't move there's no wobble on those ball screws so thank you and pose uh, I'm gonna be talking with them for the bed kit waiting for answers because uh, I'm gonna release the bed system and um, I, I'll put the old mud but the thing is to do the bed you have to change the heater you don't have a choice because my bed the way it works I'm sticking out because of wall blacks even though I sh wouldn't need the wall blacks because the ball screws are so freaking straight but in case of you never know you know there might be some little movement and I want to try to eliminate as much as possible on the movement so by leaving the wall blacks in place inside of the bed itself 
uh, it's kind of like yeah it's a no no-brainer I have to leave those there so since I got this over here since you know it's sticking out a lot because of the bulge uh, we, we have to re put you know reinstall the either in a different location so and I found out that it was better to have it over there because the fan is in the back and everything is accessible if you want to change the fan it's all in the back so you all you got to do is remove the back corner the back panel and fucking access the fan right away and then you got two screws there's two screws the holes on the side and one screw inside so the old goddamn assembly can come out quite easily uh, obviously this is printed with uh, glass fiber but uh, yeah, yeah the, the, I, I'm working on this guys they'll give me some time because I'm trying to close all the loops everywhere uh, there's a lot of hours involved into this so uh, yeah up to now it's working fine I'm waiting also after uh, I got PCB way that I've sent, uh, you know, uh, I want to get some sponsoring maybe from them or figure it out because I got a Moron 5 also coming down and building and designing and everything that's going to work all on ball screw. There's no strap, no more belts. It's all going to be fucking ball screws everywhere. A little bit like, uh, well, I'm not going to say who did that, but yeah, I'm going to do my own design for this. And uh, yeah, so PCB way because I want them. I got some parts I want to have been done in the aluminum SLS. It's gonna be easier for actually this kit. So if I can get PCB way to make those parts, see how it fits, make you know what maybe eventually I can release the old kit for the gantry to work on the rails. So I was thinking maybe doing kitting. And selling those kittings so you know that you guys can freaking remove the old shit and put new a new top uh, there's price that gonna go with this obviously because uh, nothing is free in life so uh, but you know up to now I'm probably gonna open source all this too uh, that was a lot of work man uh, that was like a good four months four and a half months of work to have everything done and then uh, the, the machine is working fine. I got a little flaws here and there. That's normal because you know it's printed parts. So obviously, when you're going with printed parts, uh, it, it kind of, you know, it warps, it moves, it, it does its crackling. I got belts, you know, when the belts, the the two lead is moving. I got some like click, 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 squeaking here and there, and that, that's normal. Fuck so. It's not uh, injection molding, and then uh, I'm readjusting the tolerance and everything. But uh, up to now, it's kind of, you know, I, I won't say that I failed because uh, the old machine works. Uh, I could maybe do something over here. Give me a second. We're just going to transfer it to this. I'm going to do prison print. We're going to go there and then do a speed test let's put it at uh, I don't know 600 with an acceleration of 20,000 and I'm gonna leave myself a bound of 50 and put it at what four and send this to the machine so yeah you got the principle of this so uh oh I'm gonna be upset maybe not ah, there you go so that's what it does So obviously the motors, I changed the motor, we've got two super powers that are over there, so uh, that changed the old motion system, those motors are more, you know, performant, and uh, so that's it, you know, machine can work at uh, 
620,000 like they were saying it does and I can't even crank it a lot more I can crank it up to 28,000 I didn't have any problem the flow is going now very well with the uh, BIQ uh, Nebula uh, that's that's really a big game changer because that little freaking extruder is working like a charm so uh, I had some old freaking issues with it and then uh, yeah you know the BIQ sent me uh, BIQ sent me a new extruder because I had a gear problem but uh, that was fixed and then sent me a new one so uh, yeah it's uh, machine is working well I just need to finish this goddamn idiot stupid thing I'm gonna change all this the spool the feeder are gonna be in the back feeding right in the back over there instead of having everything in the front like this shit it's gonna be feeding directly downward and it's gonna go directly to the hub over there saving some some time and some freaking pull that's gonna the wire is all crooked so this is a stupid design so that should have been tilted so the wire goes in smoothly and the pull is normal instead of having a goddamn bent all the time so I'm changing all this shit. I'm gonna redesign this old box. I'm gonna keep the cover. The cover is still working in the same way. But the old thing is reverse. It feeds back right down, right in the back of the goddamn machine, right into the hub. So I'm saving on this on the lane. Also, I'm gonna rechange all the system also for the uh, you know the the cooling. I know there's some shitty cooling going on in there. So I'm gonna revamp all that stuff, putting some good fans, good ventilation. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to optimize this one so that it fits perfectly with the Q4 or maybe the Q2. So, uh, more goddamn job on the way, guys. So, that's it for me. I don't know, been going on and going on at this, and I'm working on everything I can, you know, doing my little mods. And uh, that's gonna be it. Uh, we'll figure out from there, and then the Moron 4 and uh, Moron 5 is coming. I'm designing it, so I'm gonna call this La Tabernacle because I'm French and we need to put a La Tabernacle somewhere in the French words. So <laughs> that's gonna be uh, gonna be another cool project. It's gonna take a while, but eventually it's gonna come out. So bear with me and uh, that's it, guys. Have fun, enjoy your printing. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a lot of goddamn cursing and freaking problem solving issues but uh with the gang on discord it's really going really cool because everybody's there to help and it's a good gang thank you guys i'm um, team seven yeah we can go out uh, you know without you guys so thank you a lot and you have a good day and hey you know what my as well say happy holidays merry christmas to everybody at the same time cheers guys <laughs>